So I'm making this video real quick um, on the 2022 KLR 650 um, fuel injected. It's pretty sweet. Um, of how to install, just brief, just a run through of the JD jetting um, tuner. Uh, I've got the airbox mod. I've got a <clears throat> Dollar General exhaust. DG. I don't know when I bought it. Um, the instructions say that you need to take the fairings off. However. I just don't see that's necessary. Um, I went ahead and removed these because I wasn't sure if this was going to get in the way, um, which it didn't. So what you need to take off is this bolt, which I think is a five millimeter, and this little cover right here, which is also a five millimeter. Move your two four, four millimeters, that'll give you access. You can see I actually installed the kit right here, ran it up, over, um, you remove the tank, by pulling these two off and they talk about <clears throat> um, um, how whenever you lift it off and everything how you'll have to pull it however I just don't didn't find it necessary I pulled these off just in case I needed more access to something um, you will also need to remove this bolt here and then after you move off this plate which is just this little guy um, the tank actually just it's on these little pucks pulls right off and so the connector that you're worried about is that little gray connector right there which is that guy that's the factory one and so the top piece right there connects into it from the kit you just do female to male and then so on um, and then the JD jetting fits right in um, so as you can see, you do not need to pull the entire tank off. So um, it just kind of sets back into place. It's just sitting on the two little pucks right there. So um, super simple to install. I mean, it takes longer to get the actual tools out. Um, everything works as it should. This one came, I, I messaged them and told them, you know, what I was having. Um, and then it came set up for the airbox mod and exhaust which as you can see they give you all the instructions kind of the readouts <clears throat> I believe it added like 18% power which I mean for 250 bucks I think is a fantastic deal I mean it's right under there um, 250 bucks is a fantastic deal because I was gonna get the uh, ECU flashed it's just not available right now so when it comes available I'll probably take this off ship off the ECU and get that tuned but um uh, just do a startup right quick to show you. Um, so, I mean, it's running. And then, uh, so this is how you change your modes. And then it'll tell you each one and where it needs to be at based on. And you just add or subtract um, whatever you need. And then go from there. Hit it behind here. The instructions want you to stick it on the uh, on the fairing in the front, but I just didn't see a need. I figured back here, you know, it's protected. <clears throat> so, uh, you know, obviously I haven't ridden it yet, but just from idling, it's, uh, I mean, it feels crisper. I, I won't know until, uh, obviously I go ride, but um, yeah, I mean, it's an easy install. I didn't see any videos online of how to uh, install it or anything, so just wanted to share this because um, if, if you're questioning it, it's a lot easier than you think. So instructions comes with everything you need. You can write down your adjustments on that little sticker, um, and then go have fun. So hope this guy's helps. Uh, guys, have fun adventuring.